everybody, Cruise Man here. Today I'm out in the garage and I'm getting ready to do a brake pad job. I'm gonna replace the brake pads on my 2018 Goldwing. And uh, I've never replaced the front brake pads. Actually, I'm gonna replace the front brake pads, not the rear, just the front. So um, that's gonna be the subject of today's video. Probably a good time for a time lapse. So let's get started. So here you can see our old caliper bolts that came out of the 2018 Goldwing. And Honda recommends that you replace these each time you remove the caliper. And that's because these bolts, I think they're aluminum, some kind of alloy. And when they're torqued to spec, they will stretch these threads will stretch. And Honda recommends they be replaced, probably because it's a brake component, they don't want to take a chance. I would be willing to bet $100, well, maybe not $100, but I'd be willing to bet that most Honda service techs do not replace these with new bolts whenever they do a brake pad replacement on your Goldwing. These bolts are not cheap, these are the new ones, you can tell they're new because they have the, the red thread lock around the end of the bolt. And they do need to be torqued to spec. So I explain all of this in great detail as well as how to do the brake pad replacement in my 2018 plus Honda Goldwing maintenance videos. You can check those out online. Just this brake job alone, just replacing the brake pads, replacing the brake fluid more than pays for the cost of the videos over what you're gonna pay a dealer in labor charges. Um, so anyway, I am replacing my caliper bolts with brand new ones from Honda. These are Honda OEM bolts. You don't wanna to go to Ace Hardware or somewhere else and try to buy bolts that look like these or the same length or will fit. You wanna make sure you're using the Honda OEM spec bolts and torque them to spec which I will do once I replace the brake pads and put the caliper back on and uh, time for another time lapse. Okay, this is something I was really wanting to see is the wear pattern of the inside, uh, inside pad compared to the outside pad. And as you can see, that inside pad has worn a little bit more than my outside pad. Now, each of the pads here have all surfaces have all worn evenly on both but the outside pad has got less wear on it than that inside pad. So that kind of confirms to me what some people have been suggesting. Now, I wouldn't say it's dramatic. Uh, I might try to get a ruler and measure it just to see the difference, but I would say it's about, gosh, maybe a millimeter difference, maybe half a millimeter to a millimeter. I'm almost down to the wear bars on the inside pad and looks like I still probably have another five or six thousand miles or more on the outside pad. So I guess it's a good time to replace them. It was a good decision to go ahead and replace these.
So here, you can see the new pads are installed. They look much, much better. This is the right side of the bike, and it actually had a lot more wear on the inside uh, than the outside as compared to the left side of the motorcycle. So I'm going to report that and see if Honda has any suggestions on why these brake pads are wearing unevenly. I haven't heard anything, but we'll see. Let's see if I can uh, grab one of these brake pads and I'll show you the difference. So here you can see the small grooves that are cut into each of these brake pad surfaces. And these are the wear indicators. So when the brake pad material gets down to where you can no longer see that wear indicator, that groove, uh, you know it's time to replace the brake pads. You're basically onto the back. So here we're looking at the outside brake pad on the right hand side of the motorcycle you can see there's still some of that material left so we can still see that wear indicator if we now switch over and look at the inside brake pad on the right side of the motorcycle you can see a lot more wear the wear indicator is almost not even visible anymore so that means we're almost out of brake pad material here it was definitely time to change these brake pads back on the motorcycle I would like to remind you once again that brake pad replacement brake fluid replacement is covered in my 2018 plus Honda Goldwing maintenance videos and there are some very specific steps that you need to take to do this right I didn't cover them in this video because it would just take too long but it's very important that you do things in a certain order and a certain way. And I show you a lot of little tips and tricks on how to save yourself some time, some money, and uh, save yourself some grief. Well, I think that's all we're going to do for today. In the next video, I'll show you I'm going to be replacing the brake fluid and doing a flush and bleed on the brakes. So you don't want to miss that. If you liked this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Garage.